Are you ready to jump into action, guys? Because right now it is the tutorial where we make our character jump. Like all the other animations so far in this tutorial series, your jump animation will be very dependent on your character. His personality will have a huge factor in the way he jumps. And of course, when you're animating, make sure you do use references. I've gone ahead and done my jump animation. And just like the running tutorials, you're going to have the start frame and the end frame be the idle position. And you're also going to want to include the setup, the jump itself, and the landing part of the jump animation. If you want to make a leaping animation, from the running animation you are going to want to make two separate animations one to happen if his right leg is forward and one to happen when his left leg is forward and the ending frame of the leap will be when he lands when he has both of his feet on the ground after that you would make two more animations one would be from the landing back into idle and that would be if your character has stopped moving after the leap and another one would be the landing into the run which will take place if your character is still running after the leap back onto the jumping mechanic what we're basically going to have is a system where if we press the space key our character is going to play the jump animation and will shoot up in the air just after the setup and then when our character controller reaches the ground again the landing part of the jump animation will then play what's happening is if the space bar is pressed then it's going to go and play the setup part of the jump animation between frame one and frame six and then when it has reached frame six or at least frame five then it is going to go ahead and play the rest of the jump animation up until just before the character plays the landing part of the animation so around about here which is basically when the character is in the air and what that's also going to do is send the character into state three which is our jump state and also send a message to the character controller and when the character controller receives that message it is going to shoot the character up into the air and is also going to go into state 3. When the character controller detects the floor you're going to want to have it so that it then plays the landing animation. Have a cube bring it down over the bottom edges of the character controller and then parent this to your character controller. Go into the physics properties change this to a sensor. Turn collision bounds on and then leave the bounds as box. Select your floor and then under game properties assign the property floor. Select the floor detector and then if it's colliding with any objects with the property floor which is the property that we've just given our floor it's going to send a message to our armature basically telling it that it's touching the floor and then it's going to trigger it to play the landing part of the jump animation and also send it back into the idle state go into state 3 and with our message from the floor detector telling it when it's touching the floor we're also going to delay this message around about let's just say 15 frames and that is basically it for the jump tutorial.